All right, so these two, yeah, these two watermelon, a uh, water squillin', these two watermelons, uh, they're both the Iraqi watermelons from the uh, Will It Grow watermelon in a pot. And they're two separate melons. Um, they're, you know, they're supposed to be round like this one. See that? That, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. It's supposed to be a ball. Basically a big old ball that, you know, gets bigger. Now look at that one. Can you see it? You know what? Uh, the bees do get drunk, and I would not put it past one of them to do that. Look, that looks like it might have been a melon at one time. It's black. But anyway, yeah, look at this. What in the world? It looks like a crook neck. That one looks like one, too. Look at that. It looks like a, a cucumber or something. Like, seriously, that one that one didn't even look like a, a squash. That one looked like a cucumber. So, the bees that were getting all drunk in the squash a few weeks ago have made it over. I mean, this is what's left of my Black Beauty uh, zucchinis. We have harvested so many. We only have two of them left up here. Now we do have some in the back, and then we have right beside the uh, watermelons, we have this, you remember the hula hoop? Woo, it's big. This right here isn't squash, it's just morning glory that I'm trying to keep from choking out the squash. But anyway, we've had three of these already. This makes the fourth one. It's not ready to harvest yet, but that's the only other squash that's out here. This melon, this is a uh, batik, Samala or something like that. Samara, yeah. Patik Samara melon. It's also Iraqi, but it just now started producing flowers, so it couldn't have possibly cross-pollinated with this one over here. So yeah, it's kind of weird. The ones in the back look like the ones over here. Uh-huh. Oh, it looks like it was gonna be a pretty watermelon. Yeah. They actually never got to the inside. Look how thick that rind is. Now he's sitting right there where I could swat him. Okay, so you remember the squellin. Um, this is, it looks like it was cross-pollinated between a squash and a melon. This is off of the Alibaba, Alibaba watermelon vine. And uh, it's, it's close to one of our squash plants. But anyway, you can see that it's starting to... Uh, turn black there and uh, so we decided to go ahead and take it off the vine because we think that it's just uh, stealing nutrients from the rest of the vine and we do have some other nice looking watermelons coming on so in the interest of science right uh, or, or whatever you call this um, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and slice this bad boy open and take a look at it and see what it looks like and uh, uh -oh. It doesn't look like the other one. So I'm not sure if that was going to be a watermelon or not. Um, although it's got the coloration of... Look at the different types of seeds it's got. This this is one that came out of the backyard. Uh, and you'll remember this from another video where uh, it looks like maybe a raccoon had uh, started eating it while it was on the vine. So we went ahead and took it off. But uh, it's got a lot of the same colorations. But the seeds, uh, they, they, they look a little different. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, not real sure. Like, those look like watermelon seeds, but what are those? 